Hello my lovely kids, you are welcome again to another Capital Science Lessons. My name is Ernest Atto Bento. Kids, in our previous lessons we looked at materials around us and what these materials are used for or the products we get from these materials around us. The topic for today is still on materials but today we are going to look at different objects that are made of different materials different objects that are made of different materials when we looked at materials around that we looked at some materials like wood metals and so on and we looked at materials that are made from metals materials that are made from wood but today we are going to look at objects that are made with different material combination or objects that are made from different materials but before we move we move on to that let's mark the homework you were given the last time one what are materials materials are things that physical objects are made from materials are things that physical objects are made from two State four examples of objects that can be made from wax and then glass. So under wax, we have candle. You can get candle from wax. You can get crayon from wax. You can get chewing gum from wax. You can get polish from wax. And then when it comes to glass, you can get cup from glass. You can get plates from glass. You can get bowl from glass and then mirror from glass now let's move to today's topic on objects made of different materials objects made of different materials we begin by looking at our lesson objectives at the end of the lesson you'll be able to mention three objects made from different materials so if you pay attention and then you all go through the lesson, at the end of the lesson, you'll be able to mention three objects made from different materials. So as you are sitting at home or at school, just start looking around and then start looking at materials that are made from different objects. That you will find the same material made of wood, made of glass, made of other materials. So just look around as we begin the lesson so that you get some of these materials in your head before we even start looking at them. Now what are materials? Let's revisit what materials are. And we said that materials are things that physical objects are made from. Materials are things that physical objects are made from. When we talk about physical, we are talking about things that you can touch, things that you can see. These are what we call physical. You can touch them, you can see them. So glass is an example of material. Wool is an example of material. Wax is an example of material. In the previous lessons, we looked at all the products or some of the products that we can get from these materials on your screen now let's look at some examples of materials we have wood is a material we have metal we have glass they are all materials around us we also have wax we have wool we have rubber we looked at all these materials in the previous lessons and some of the products we can get from these materials we also have cotton we have plastic we have leather these are all materials around us so even the clothes that you are wearing right now either it's a shirt or a t-shirt a skirt trouser you see that it is made up of more than one material it's made up of more than one material so cotton plastic leather they are all examples of materials around us now let's look at 
objects made of different materials. If you look at the images that you see on your screen, you can see that the materials or the objects we have here are not made of the same material. Just look at it. This is a different material, this is a different material, but in one object as belt. This is a different material, this is a different material as one object in a wheelbarrow. So if you enter your mommy's kitchen, you can see materials there that are made of more than one material. Even the sitting room that you are sitting right now, just look around. You can see that some materials are there that are made from more than one material. Even when you get to your school bag, you can find some materials in your school bag that are made from more than one material and that is what we are going to look at in this lesson so some objects are made of one material such as this pot is made of metal so you can see that this pot is made of only metal only metal you cannot find any other material but this pot is made of only metal and metal is one of the materials around us and plates are made of plastic so if you look at these plates it is also they are made of only plastic they are made of only plastic so this pot is made of metal these plates are made of plastic sometimes no one material has all the properties that are needed to make an object Kate, if you remember in basic 2 we learned about properties of materials when we talk about properties we looked at whether the material is hard or soft whether the material is rough or smooth these are some of the properties whether they are bendable whether the material is waterproof whether the material allow light to pass through these are some of the properties of materials and sometimes no one material has all the properties that are needed to make an object so some objects are made of two or more materials such as this pencil you see on your screen some objects are made of two or more materials such as this pencil so let's take a look at a pencil that you use at school to write or draw what you use to write that is the tip of the pencil you see here the sharp end here that you always sharpen to make it very sharp this is called graphite and it is a carbon graphite is a carbon and that is what we use to write Apart from this graphite, you see that the whole body of the pencil, the yellow part, is made of wood. So right now we have two materials here, graphite and wood. If you come to this part, this is made of metal. And this metal fastens the wood to the eraser, also made of rubber. So this small pencil that you use to write or draw at school, it is made up of how many? One, two, three, four materials. So this small pencil is made of four materials. So as we said, sometimes no one material has all the properties that are needed to make an object. And children, this is what I want you to remember. That sometimes no one material has all the properties that are needed to make an object. So because of that, we combine other materials to make one object. We combine other materials to make one object. So children, assuming this pencil was only made up of wood how can you use it to write how can you use it to erase when you make a mistake 
a wood cannot erase your mistakes from your book you cannot use a wood to write in your book assuming this is made of only metal how can you use it to write it will even tear all the sheets inside your book if you want to use metal to erase you can imagine what will happen to the sheets in your book they all tear apart assuming this pencil is made up of only rubber how can you use it to write assuming it was made up of only graphite how can you use the pencil made of only graphite you see that it is even soft the graphite is even soft it will be breaking all the time so because some materials do not have all the properties needed to make an object sometimes you have to combine other materials so as i told you from the beginning wherever you are sitting watching this lesson just look around you will see that there are certain materials around you that are made of different materials or so there are objects around you made of different materials even the shirts that you are wearing the shirt that you are wearing the buttons are made of different material the fabric is from a different material good let's look at this bulb also also made of different material you have you all have bulbs at home and at school you see that this portion is made of glass this portion is made of plastic this portion that you screw to the holder is made of what metal so this bulb alone is made up of more than one material this bulb is also made up of more than one material so as i said no one material has all the properties that are needed to make certain objects now let's look at examples of objects made of different material so the objects will come and we will all try to bring out the materials that were used to make that object the first one is mirror and the first material we have is wood so apart from wood you look inside the mirror when you are dressing to make sure that everything is in order before you move out or step out from the house so the borders here of the mirror are made of wood what other materials do you think also went into this mirror good we have glass so we have glass and this border here the wood here is protecting the glass because glasses are fragile they can break if you don't handle them with care so apart from the glass right now we have wood we have glass if you look at the wood here the wood was joined the wood was joined together so what was used to join this wood together good we had some small nails so in making this mirror we needed wood glass and then metal and this went into the making of this mirror so this mirror is also an object made from different materials let's look at another object belt so start just look at the belt and then bring out the materials that went into the making of this belt the first one is leather so all the brown here are made of leather what material again do you think went into the making of this apart from the leather what do you see again good you see metal see metal this portion is made of metal yes it's left with last one 
You have one metal here, you have one metal here. So apart from the letter and the metal, what do you see again on this belt? What do you see again on this belt? If you look at the belt very well, you can see that something was used to fasten the edges of the belt together. Good, they use thread. So you can see thread here. You can see thread here. So they use thread also made from cotton to fasten the edges of the belt. Very good. So you see that this belt also is an object made of different materials. Very good. Let's look at another object. Chair. You sit at you sit on a chair at home, you sit on a chair at school. When you go to church, you sit on chairs or pews. We have this chair here. Let's all look at it and then bring out the materials used to make this chair. Very good. I can hear wood, yes. The main material used for this chair is wood. What material again? What was used to fasten the pieces of wood together? Very good. Nails. And we get the nails from metal. And lastly, there was a polish. They used a polish. And we get this polish from wax. When we are treating a product from materials around us, we had wax. And you see wax polish here. So they used the polish to make the chair shiny and beautiful. So this small chair here, we used how many materials? Wood, metal, and furniture polish. Three materials. Let's look at another object. Wristwatch. Wristwatch. So my kids, what materials went into the making of this wristwatch? Good. We have leather, the handle of this wristwatch is made of leather. What again, what other material do you see? What other material do you see? You have metal, so you see that this portion and the small knob you see here that you use to set the time is made of metal. This also, there's a metal here that holds the leather belt to the watch. And then you also have glass. Glass. The face of the watch is covered with glass. And you can also see thread here. They use thread to fasten the edges of the leather so four materials were used to make this wristwatch good yes pressing iron we all have pressing irons at home let's look at this pressing iron and bring out the materials that were used to make this pressing iron yes first one we have plastic the handle the handle is made of plastic and then what about the base here the base is made of metal so children assuming the handle here or all the parts of this pressing iron was made with metal what do you think will happen it will shock you you can't even plug it and use it you can't even plug it and use it because when we treated properties of materials you could see that heat passed through metals but it can't pass through plastic that's why the handle is made of plastic so that you can hold it and press your clothes with it or iron your clothes with it so this pressing iron is also made of plastic and metal I have sewing machine, sewing machine. 
So what went into the making of this sewing machine? If you look at this sewing machine, is it made up of only one material? Yes, no. He said no. So this sewing machine is made up of more than one material. So let's try and bring the materials out. The first one, the base here is made up of wood. The base here is made up of wood. That is what you see here. And then the top here is made up of metal. The top here is made up of metal. Very good. Wow, well, let's enter mommy's kitchen. We have frying pan here. So you could see that this frying pan is also made of wood and metal. So the bowl here is made up of metal and the handle is made up of wood. You see that since heat can pass through metals, if all the parts of this frying pan was made of metal, you cannot hold it. Because heat cannot pass through wood. That is why the handle was made with wood. wood. So this frying pan is also made up of wood and metal. We also have cutlass here. And you see that this cutlass is also made up of wood and metal. So the cutlass here is also made up of wood and metal. You see that there are many objects around us that are made of different materials. Why? Because sometimes no one material has all the properties that can be used to make certain objects. We also have sheds. We also have sheds. Look at this beautiful shed here. The shed was made with what? Fabric. And the buttons are made of plastic. So the shed is also an object made from different material. Fabric and plastic. So the fabric can be made of cotton or even wool and then the buttons are made of plastic you also have hammer you have hammer the head of the hammer is made of metal and the handle is also made of wood so hammer is also one of the objects made from different materials the head is made of metal and the handle is made of wood you have axe axe the head is made of metal and the handle is also made of wood you have this lantern lantern we normally use this at night or when the light is off or there's power cut so you see that the body of the lantern is made of metal this transparent material you see here is glass and there's a wick inside that absorbs the kerosene you pour here and then you're able to see the light inside this transparent object assuming this glass is made of wood what will happen the light will be on but because wood is not transparent you will not be able to see or get the light from the lantern so the lantern that you see here is also made up of metal glass and wick made up of what fabric so this lantern is also made from different materials. Television. As you are watching me right now, the television that you are watching right now is also made of different materials. Television is also made of different materials. So if you take this television here, the body of the television is made of plastic. The body of the television is made of plastic. The glass 
that you see the images in is made of glass this portion is made of glass that is where you see the images in your television and then if you open the television you also see this board inside the motherboard inside made of metal made of metal so this television here is also made from different materials can your television can the screen be made of wood no can it be made of wax no so before you even make any object from materials you have to know the properties of these materials so this television is made of plastic glass and then metal let's have a look at this bicycle too this bicycle the body of the bicycle is made of metal the seat is made of leather then the tires are made of rubber so bicycles are also made of different materials leather metal and rubber we use these materials to make a bicycle wheelbarrow wheelbarrow the body of the wheelbarrow is made of metal and then the tire is made of rubber the tire is made of rubber good kids today we looked at materials and then objects that are made from different materials and we have gone through some of these objects made from different materials we saw mirror made of different materials wood glass and then metal that is the nails used to join the wood together we also saw belts made of leather fabric and then metal we also looked at chair made of different material we looked at wristwatch looked at pressing iron we looked at sewing machine we also looked at frying pan we looked at matches looked at hammer they are all objects made from different materials we also looked at axe sheds and lantern as all objects made from different materials then we also looked at television bicycle and wheelbarrow as objects made from different materials now I believe you know materials in general what can be made from only one materials one material and other objects that can be made from different materials now let's test ourselves on this lesson and in this this exercise you are choosing materials made of more than one material so if you look at the answer you just choose objects they are made from different material so one choose the object that is made of more than one material we have needle we have ports we have belt needle ports belt good the answer is belt needle is made of metal port is made of clay but belt is made up of leather fabric and metal Two, the same preamble we are choosing an object here made of different materials so we have pencil eraser and then blade pencil eraser and blade good the answer is pencil eraser is made of rubber blade is made of metal a pencil is made of wood graphite rubber and metal Three, television blade and then sheds choose the objects made of only one material so in question three you are choosing the objects made of only one material so television blade then sheds 
good. The answer is blade. Blade is made of only metal. Television is made up of glass, metal, and then plastic. Shirt is made up of fabric and then plastic for the buttons. But blade is made up of only metal. Four, choose the object that is made of more than one material. We have wood, we have bicycle, we have metal cap. Wood, bicycle, metal cap. Objects made of more than one material. Good, the answer is bicycle. Bicycle. Bicycle is made up of metal for the body, rubber for the ties, and then leather for the seats. And five, choose the object that is made of more than one. We have balloon, we have wristwatch, we have socks. Balloon, wristwatch, socks. Choose the object that is made up of more than one material. Good. The answer is wristwatch. Balloon is made of rubber. Socks is made of wool or fabric. But wristwatch is made of metal, leather, glass, and then fabric. Good. Kate, you have all done well for this lesson. And I believe from today you will know the difference between objects made of only one material and objects that are made from different materials. Now let's take this homework. One, what is a material? What is a material? And then to state four examples of objects made from different material. So what is a material? Then you state four examples of objects made from different material. I'll give you some time to put this assignment down. Yeah, Kate, you are welcome back. I believe you are all able to put the assignment down. Today we learned about materials and objects that are made from different materials. I believe you enjoyed the lesson as well. Until we meet again next time on another science lesson, this is your teacher, Ernest Atto Benzer. Bye-bye. <laughs>